Doors to my grief relief program are closing next week. If you've been considering joining me on this healing journey, now is the time to take action. We'll be coming together in a safe and supportive community to process and heal from various forms of grief and loss. Whether you're grappling over the death of a loved one, job loss, loss of your health, loss of your identity, or even grief of losing an older version of yourself or any other forms of grief, this program is designed to guide and help you through the healing process. If you're ready to find peace and healing and nurturing support, don't miss out on this opportunity. I'm here to help you feel less alone. To learn more and sign up, visit thehappyhealingshop.com slash grief. Again, that's thehappyhealingshop.com slash grief. After leaving the corporate nine to five grind, I became the boss of my own spiritual business, helping others explore and navigate the human experience from insight, wisdom, and lessons learned along the way. Today, I help aspiring spiritual entrepreneurs gain the confidence to share their gifts with the world. Welcome to the Happy Healing Shop Podcast. I'm your host, Trang Pham Nguyen, and each week we'll dive into incredible stories of strength, resilience, and transformation. So if you are ready for some serious breakthroughs, laughs and tears, and stories that will inspire you, you are in the right place, my friend. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode. Today, I will be talking about the grief and loss of losing a dream, of losing that vision of what you thought your future was going to look like, but it didn't happen. And there are so many threads that I can go to with this topic. I think a lot of people can resonate with this if they have been through a divorce or a separation. And in today's episode, I'm going to also talk about my separation with my business partner. So the shattering of a cherished dream. When it comes to the painful experience of divorce and separation, check out episode nine where I talk to single parents about their experience as well. And if you think about it, people get married expecting that this is going to be that one person, their one life partner, they're going to journey together and create new memories and create their dreams together whether it's with kids, having that house, whatever it may be. But I think many people aren't ready to hear the truth that, and to really listen to it because half the people, at least in America, the stats is about 50% of people divorce. But when you marry, you don't think that you're going to be that 50%. But the thing is, nothing is ever certain either. And so when you get married, you're expecting all this to happen. When that marriage doesn't work out, that dream of, having that family or having that house or having whatever it is seems like it's crumbling down. It can be really hard. So when I was talking to a friend that was going through divorce and she was telling me the feelings that she was going through, I realized that I was going through those same exact emotions. So when me and my business partner split, it was me grieving about what I thought the business could have looked like. Envisioning what it could be, we had all these ideas. It just felt like it crumbled and I'm starting all over again. Is it possible to start all over? Hell yeah. Is it easy to start over and reinvent yourself, reinvent your business, reinvent whenever? Hell no. Whether you're 20 years old or 40 years old, and even though I know that we reinvent ourselves continuously as we grow throughout life, it's never easy. At least it's not a smooth ride. And in that sense of like a marriage or a business partnership, we are holding on to a vision of life. We cling to it. I'm guilty of clinging on to things longer than I should. And we cling on to what we hope it would be. So again, with a wedding, it's a vision of marriage, love, relationships, career, uh, possibilities, even with business. And we cling so hard to it that we become disappointed when it can't happen the way we want it to. And it's so hard letting go of that control or letting go of everything you built, letting go of the history. So I had to grieve over the business, what it looked like, what it could have been. Um, thinking about all the years ahead on the potential, I went through periods of anger, resentment, frustration, and I'm lying if I didn't have those feelings. 
you know, I think a person with most divorces in marriages, it's rare that you'll hear someone say like, oh yeah, we're fine. We totally split. It's like, there's a lot of complex layers and motions that are involved in it, especially because of the history. I had to take time to process the thoughts and feelings about our work together, just like how a husband and wife in a marriage would after a divorce and figure out what recovery was going to look like for me. And the impact of this was greater because it made a huge part of my business. Not only did I have to reinvent the business, I had to reinvent and figure out who I was. What does Happy Healing Shop look like with only Trang? And it was going to look very different. And I knew I was going to lose followers even though I didn't want to because the thought of starting all over again sounded so exhausting. And I think with grieving your identity and the old version of yourself, it's very similar to someone becoming a single parent or someone that um, has an empty nest at home or someone that lost their job after working at a company for 25 years. Who are you? Who are you now? You know, if you have been a parent your whole life, who are you without your child? Or if you go through a divorce, who are you alone? Not as a husband, not as a wife. Who are you when you feel like you lost everything or a huge part of yourself? Speaking of grieving the vision, your future, or your dream about your future, this could apply to people that are struggling with fertility issues or the inability to fulfill parenthood dreams. People that are going through IVF or freezing their eggs and sperm, but it doesn't work out. You grew up expecting to have a family, to have kids, or maybe meeting a guy or girl by a certain age to be physically able to have kids. And then you get your hopes up and then it feels like it failed. Another theme I see of losing or grieving over your identity is when you grew up and you were taught to be a good girl, a good person, a people pleaser essentially. And you have to say bye to the identity. And it's going through that whole phase of learning your boundaries, becoming this different person that your family and friends might not like because they're not used to this new version, new and better version of you. Or they might say, oh, you've changed. And there's probably going to be anger around that. There's probably going to be a bunch of other emotions that come up or realizations about um, what you were taught. So there is a lot of grief that happens, as you can see, where there's a huge contrast with the life we envisioned and the reality that we live in. And a lot of disappointment will come with it. With my business, I remember being so stressed, not being able to have clarity and seeing what this new business is going to look like for Happy Healing Shop. Just like a writer needs someone to edit their paper, I needed a pair of fresh eyes on this. So I did join a mastermind with someone that I trusted. My scarcity mindset started kicking in because it was not a cheap program. And I remember thinking, am I going to get my money's worth? Am I going to get my money back? Here's a good analogy. It's like the gym. You invest in yourself, which is in a way self-care because you're carving time for yourself. You go to the gym but the gym isn't going to bring money back into your life, but you're going to get out of a stuck rut. You're going to feel more confident or better about your body, your health, or even if you're going to counseling, you're not going to make money from going to counseling, but you'll gain clarity. You'll be able to see things that fresh light or move forward with life and process the emotions, feelings, and energies that you've been dealing with. So that was a reframe that has helped me. And I also hope for you listening in, know that is completely okay to be grieving a lot with your identity, your, the newer versions of you that you keep reinventing and the feeling of starting over. It is very tough, but it is very possible. And it's one of those things later down the road, years down the road, you can look in hindsight and say, that was difficult, but it led me to a better path. It was what I needed, even though I didn't see it in the moment. So know that you are powerful. Know that you are able to get through whatever it is you're going through, even if in the moment it doesn't feel like it. If you need help and support, that's something I help out with. My grief relief program is now opened. For more details, 
please visit thehappyhealingshop.com slash grief. I also have a online Facebook group called Happy Healers if you want to join that. And finally, my club membership where we have spiritual workshops, Reiki healing energy sessions, breath work, our shadow work healing journal, behind the scenes footage, and more. I'll link all those down below in the show notes. Until we meet again, my friend, don't forget to share your story and shine your light brightly because you never know who it can help give hope to or inspire to create a change in their own world. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next week.